Welcome back to the Brett and Marissa YouTube channel. In this video, we're finishing up some projects. Brett is hooking up our bilge pump because we're gonna go on a trip soon and we have some water in the bilge so we're just emptying it out right now and he's getting it working. So we filled up one jug. So our bilge pump situation is it's not good. That's what we don't want to put in the water so we're putting it in jugs. I have a little tiny bilge pump at the end of this white hose that we're trying to empty all of our water out with and then I'll put our new, it's a little bit bigger bilge pump down in there. All right, you ready for some water? Yep. And stop. We're using our new big rope bucket. We've got a lot more water than I was thinking down in the bilge, and it's oily, so it's good we're collecting it. All right, this is getting a little out of hand. We keep going up in things. We're just finding random bins and stuff and filling them up with our bilge water. I'm ready. <laughs> We're gonna be moving extra quick now. No barnacles and our bilge pump is empty. Oh, this was a lot. Let's go back down in here and I'll show you what I've done. I've kind of put the little bilge pump contraption I made down in and secured it. See that's secured in there now. Next, we just gotta hook up these wires. Just got this stuff here. Next, we'll get this bad boy that wired up. All right, so that's all hooked up. Let's just cover up these terminals. Delete the more grease. What are you doing now, sweetheart? I'm gonna be wiring up the bilge pump doodad and sticking it right here. How do you like that? Boom, perfect. Because eventually we'll get another one and the other one's gonna go. I know, we gotta get some fresh connections on here. <sighs> the final countdown. They're on but this only goes to the bilge. Now we have to connect this to the power. Yay! And I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. That could be to power. So power, jumper. Easy peasy. But is that all correct? I think it is. The black's gonna go there. The white one will go to the manual. The green one. We'll go up to the switchy switch. Ooh, 10, 10 gauge. We're gonna use some 12 gauge wire. We're using 12 gauge wire, but we're gonna commit a crime. We're gonna put a 14 gauge connector on the 12 because I'm gonna cut some of the, some of the wiring off so it'll Honey. fit. I know, I shouldn't do it, but I don't have any bigger connectors. I have to do it. Is that gonna make the Oh, blow up? Not blow up, but maybe burn down. It's all gonna be fused way below what the wire can handle, so we don't have a problem. Listen to it. This is a great time to tell you about our Shelly t-shirts. If you look on the back, yeah, that's right. That's a picture of our boat, and you can have a shirt with a picture of our boat on it too. <laughs> No one will know it's our boat. They'll just think, that's a pretty boat. Don't be afraid. Go to the link, it's up here, right here, bing, bing, bing. You can buy it right there, or you can look in the description. We have a link there. And if you watch it till the end of the video, there will be another link where you can buy yourself your own Shelly t-shirt. It's working. I put my 14 gauge connector on my 12 gauge wire. And we're gonna be in good shape. Uh, cue the music. Ooh, bye, baby, bye. Bye, baby, bye. 
burn, baby, burn. Now, this connector will connect on the thingy bobber, and we'll be in good shape soon. Bada bing, bada boom, we got our connectors done. You see it now? Is it making sense yet? Me neither, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I think it's wired up correctly. Labeling our little wires. Heat shrink it. La -dee -da. There he goes. Hey, <laughs> it's, it's hot in here, okay? <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Don't look at this. I'm gonna fix it. Don't look at what? <laughs> I'm gonna fix it one day, okay? Don't. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. Cause that's Marissa. <gasps> That's how you know it's Baby, not what did you just say? Oh. I gotta make this wire the right length so we don't have a bunch of extra wire laying around. And I gotta wire it up too, so. See that? We got our little power cables hooked up. This is the sound Marissa loves because it means work's getting done. She said, oh yeah, he's doing something. <laughs> I love that sound. Got it wired up, but let's see if uh, it's gonna work. So we'll turn this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got power back. Woo! If I switch this down, listen. <gasps> it works. All right, here we go to switch it on. <gasps> Woohoo! It works! Yeah! Now I just have to tidy up uh, this thing of a bob and we'll be in good shape. Boom bada bean. All right, so the nav station has been kind of just a mess. It's been filled with stuff and we never can get into it because we're always putting things on top of it. So I'm gonna try and organize that section a little bit and just make it more manageable. So let's kind of tidy up that area. Okay, it's all cleaned up now. I think it's just time to put everything back in and organize it up a little bit. It's all empty. Okay, here it is for now. We got all of our boat information. We got some flags, got some protractors, navigation book, a tablet, handheld VHF radio pencils and then some stuff in there and a lucky owl. I'm sure I'll end up doing more to that. I feel like you can see everything that's there and I want to make sure that this isn't like a junk drawer and it is like a navigation area where we can grab stuff easily like if we have to so I'm pretty happy with it at the moment so yeah. Woo! What are we doing right now? We are installing our new radio. Woo -woo! We had to get a new radio because the last one wasn't working. I'm working on installing this one and it didn't come with any like way to mount it flush to a wall. So I'm building my own flush mount things. You see, I got a little metal bracket here. We'll see how that works. And I'm taking this guy and turning it into this guy. So now we got these work for the most part. They match pretty good. Yeah, I think that's gonna be close enough. Now I just gotta cut the hole bigger. <laughs> All right, are you ready? <laughs> Should have wore a mask. <laughs> now the moment of truth. There's a big, strong, big, huge, giant chance I measured wrong, but let's see. Ah. <laughs> Just need a little bit off the corner there. Will it work now? No, it won't. This is what happens when the radio instructions say, cut the hole five and a half, we got that, by 2.85. I don't know what 2.85 is. It's not on my measuring tape. 
Oh. Yay, we did it. It fits. Yeah. Do you like it there? I do. I do. That's I like good because the hole is there. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with you soon. I hope it doesn't get too crazy out here. <laughs> we'll see. It. Oh my god, that was so scary. Are you recording? Oh my god. No, it wasn't our boat. It was like on the water right over there. I don't think it was Charlie's boat either. It was close. <laughs> Well, the storm has kind of passed through. It's very fun. It was very windy, very watery, but there was a lot of lightning. It was nerve wracking. It was a lot. All right, little update. I got this installed and look at that. You can't tell, but it's really firmly planted with my little flush mount things. It's totally working just fine. And the radio is working too if we go to... Up to 40 miles per hour and pea size hail. Impact. Size hail. 40. 40. 40 miles per hour? Really? When? It's north of us. Outdoors. Consider seeking shelter in... Where should we mount the little hand... hand mic part? Should we like stick it here? I feel like right there looks good. I say go low. Right Underneath here. the, yep, I think right there is perfect. Oh, we're getting a little weird. Look how weird the water looks out there. He's fishing. I gotta do like a couple catches a day. You got one? Reel him in! Reel him in! Point it up! Look! I, it's two! <gasps> oh my god! I got a catfish! <laughs> I got a catfish! I gotta come get a glue. Look, there's, there's another one right there. He's hanging out with his buddy. You see him? Oh, well, don't kill him. He's got a lover! Oh my god, there's two others! Caught his first fish. I'm sorry, buddy. Let me give you some air. <laughs> I feel so bad. I, I can't, it's hooked too good. Save him, baby. I'm trying. Do you want me to hold him? No. Oh my god. <laughs> good job. <laughs> we need to practice. I got one. You got one. <laughs> I feel bad for that fish. <laughs> We're out here, we just finished working a little bit and we're watching a thunderstorm. There's some crazy lightning in the sky right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's not raining, it's just the sky is just lighting up. It's gorgeous. morning there's no wind so we are setting up our reefing right now this is a great opportunity we got it for the sunrise but we couldn't pass this up so we're gonna raise the main and see if we can get some reefing lines tied in i'm getting eaten alive i'm getting by eaten no alive. Out here. i think i'm only gonna rake two lines right now
Alright, so I've tied it to the boom here. And we find our point. We go through and back. See you know how that gets tight? Yeah. We'll, we'll pull this tight, tight in the front too. Gotcha. Bring the mainsail down, you'd release the halyard. We'd bring this down and put it on this hook here, you see that? Gotcha. Get it on the hook, uh -huh. tighten your halyard, uh -huh. and then we would tighten that back. And then if we wanted our second, second reef. Second reefing, oh I see. Second hook. Beautiful. Gonna be what it's gonna be, you know? Yuck, um, yuck. No, yes, I do. Now we have to see if our these lines were long enough. They're just sitting around. So I'm gonna raise the sail up and see if if they won't pull back through. Yeah, now we have these lines. We're not fully rigged up yet. We need to get some sort of pulley here still, I think. I think we have enough line where we're gonna run them back to the cockpit. The sail is down. We finished up and the sun is just starting to rise. Okay, this is super small, but I'm super excited about it. Brett hooked it up for us. Before our closet was very dark like this. At night it was really difficult to find our clothes and we had to go through everything or like use a flashlight and now look at this he added lights how nice is that i'm stoked it's all the small things and they're all coming together so for the reefing lines we need to replace some of the little pulleys on our deck here's one that our friend 3D printed for us. It's black. And here's the old ones. And you know, it's kind of falling apart. If you can see here, I put a bolt through it to hold it in place, but these ones are riveted. So I have to drill out the rivets. So there we got that drilled out. Now I need to punch the rivet through. All right, after much more trouble than I anticipated, since the first one went easier, I've removed our little sleeve, but can you see that? It is rusted together with the pin. So I think I'm gonna have to put the pin in some vice grips and drill it out that way. So here's my setup to drill it out. Well, I broke the drill bit. bit. So that's the end of me trying to do this. So after much trouble and many things breaking and not going our way, I've mangled this thing, mutilated it. But this kind of spins, that'll be good enough for us. And that's what we got going on right here. Next, we just need to grab the lines from our mainsail, run them forwards through these little guys, and we'll be all set up. We'll be good to go. Angle. Now we'll get our lines. Shing, washing, washing. We're gonna be in great shape. Yay! Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. The reefing is done. There's the reefing. Greetings, I have installed the e -perb. We can do a, a test emergency. We're dying! No! We're dying. Oh my god! Get that thing out of there! Hopefully, we never have to do that. Uh -huh. Marissa had a good idea of putting it like here in case the engine was on fire. We wouldn't want to go inside over the engine that's on fire to get it. And we also have right here our little. Oh, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Uh, hello, come in. It's our little radio, it's right there. So we're very happy with the projects we've completed. 
yeah, I'm pretty excited to go start uh, testing some of this stuff out. I think we're both a little eager to get out to the ocean. Both a little e-perp to get out to a the ocean. A little e-perp to get out to the ocean. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We know it was kind of a little bit different, not all like fun and excitement, but it's part of what goes into, yeah. you know, us doing this. There's a lot of work. Slowly I will work through all the things that need to be installed and replaced and fixed mm -hmm. and we can have cleanness a little bit more hopefully. We got a lot of stuff done this video. It felt really good and I feel so, I feel overly prepared to go sailing. I feel like the next good day we're going to be getting out there. Oh yeah, we're dialed in. We are dialed so in. Hopefully we'll be sailing soon. Mm -hmm. Buy yourself a Shelly t-shirt and have a great day. <laughs> See ya. Hey, don't forget.